Hi guys, Portia here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I use Canva to create cut files for my Cricut or either you can use it for Silhouette as well. So Canva is a design space for like YouTube, Instagram, logos, different things like that. Um, pretty much anything you can think of you can design in Canva. So when I am designing a item that is very text heavy, I prefer Canva because working with the fonts is easier. I don't have to ungroup and regroup and individually move each one. So that for me is convenient, like I said, especially when I am using a lot of different words. Um, it becomes a little bit more cumbersome when you're doing it in design space. So here is when I totally prefer to use Canva. So let's go ahead and create a design. They already have pre-made logos, but we are going to do a, our own dimensions. Um, this part really doesn't matter. I just want to start with a blank, clean slate. And you go ahead and put in the dimensions that you think you need. Like I said, this isn't a really a big deal because once we save it, we can adjust the size in Canva anyway. And what we're gonna do, like I said, this one is text heavy, so we're gonna select text, and we're going to add our words here. So I like to add the words all individually, especially so I can play with the different sizes and create um, a more visual appeal instead of having them all like one size. So the text that I'm using today is gonna say, she is far more precious than jewels. So we're gonna just use um, Canva to create this. Now, normally in design space, you know, once you add it and you want to make different, um, you know, sizes of the fonts, you got to maybe add a letter individually. Like you said, well, like, like I said, once you ungroup it, you have to, you know, adjust each one. This gives me the ability to change the font to what I want, and then I can adjust each word the way I want. And of course, I can do uh, say if I wanted the S bigger, then I would just make that a separate separate um, word or you know its own separate text box, but that's not what I was going for. So what you do is just pretty much adjust the words to your liking, which is like you know what I'm doing right here. So you kind of fuss over just a little bit to make sure it looks the way you want it to. All right, so I have my words exactly the way I want it. Now I want to add some jewels to it to just give it a little bit more visual interest. I like this one, but it doesn't fit the, let's just say for lack of a better word, the curvature of the fonts that I've selected. So I didn't go with that one. You see Canva here, when you have, um, you, they have two versions. You could do pro or either the free version. Um, they have a lot of different elements to choose from. I thought that this particular diamond worked with what I was doing. I like to kind of nestle my pictures in with the words that I use so, so it looks uh, a little bit more cohesive. And I want to add another jewel in. I think it would help to kind of balance the whole picture. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and group it all together because when I download it, I'm gonna hit transparent background. I am going to then download it and I want it to all stay the way I see it here in Canva and not move around once I transfer it over to the other application. So from here, let's just jump right into Cricut. All right, so we're gonna go new project. We're gonna go ahead and upload that ping that we just saved. And I always select complex. Save as a cut image. Gonna insert it. And at this point, we just adjust our size um, to what we wanted to fit on. So I adjusted it, I have cut it out. Now I need to figure out where I want it to go on this little onesie. I think doing onesies right now, I'm obsessed with. I have done like three or four so far. And um, yeah, they're like one of my favorite things. It's so super adorable. So you see that it cut out exactly the way we saw on the screen in Canva. But again, you didn't have to fuss with the letters as ungrouping them, regrouping them, and all that other stuff. So that's why I really enjoy doing this on um, Canva. 
And this was a supposed to be a cold peel. I kept trying to peel it hot, but yeah, it, it came off uh, pretty well. So guys, if you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. Leave them right there in the comments. I will absolutely respond. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. But until next time, peace.